Hello, it's an 86 Ford F-150. Today we're going to read the codes on OBD-1. Uh, mine just happened to be in the passenger side fender well just behind the battery. Notice we have the big red connector and then the small connector. This is uh, not an MCU, it's a EEC I think it is. Uh, anyway, today I'm going to be using the Equus. 3145 Ford Lincoln Mercury code tester. I got this off of eBay for 30 bucks. The reason why I got this one is it has the digital display. I had the Actron one and it didn't really work that well. The codes were kind of erratic and or I didn't know how to use it. Uh, to be honest, OBD1 is not my strong suit. Uh, so, oh, first car I've ever owned with it. It's uh, either no code, no scanner, meaning uh, carbureted and the only computer's in your head, or OBD2. Uh, anyway, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Put the big cable in there keyed for both, so you can't put them in backwards. And that's how they should look in this scenario. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is the key off engine off and then we're going to do key on engine off and try to get a better angle of that for you guys so I can read that let's see what we got here I apologize I'll hold it up. Uh, anyway, so everything's off, the key's off, the engine is off, the engine is warmed up to operating temperature. For this model, because it's a manual transmission, we do have to put the clutch in. Uh, so for 4.9 engines with standard transmissions, press and hold the clutch until all codes are sent. Uh, I'm only one guy, so I've got a 2x4 holding the clutch halfway in. You don't have to have it all the way depressed, I just think you have to have the... Uh, clutch pushed in enough to where the switch would open for the starter uh, bypass. So give me one second. Uh, so we start with the off. I'm going to turn the key to the on position. Key is in the on position. You can hear the fast seatbelt light. Okay, and then what we're going to do next is to turn the system on, turn the machine on, you should get three zeros, which we do. At this point, you're going to press and release the test hold button to put the tester into test mode and the vehicle. We get a small triangle and a square. Uh, the small triangle says it's in test mode. The square is saying that it's actually communicating with the vehicle. All right, so the first set of codes we're going to get is the key off, engine off, self test. Um, so you can see in this instance we have code 23. Uh, and then what we're going to get, they say approximately six to nine seconds after that, is a separator code. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me zoom in. Separator code right there of 10. 10 is not a code, it is a separator code. It's communicating with the vehicle again. And now we're going to get what's called the continuous memory or C codes. Uh, I know it's difficult to see, but you could see the square flashing, and then we could see the C in the upper right hand corner. Right there, flashing code 63. Uh, it flashes it a few times uh, so you guys can read it, and then. After all key off, engine off, self test codes and continuous memory codes have been received, uh, what you can do is just uh, turn off the scanner and you can disconnect it. And then, if you want to view co codes stored in the code reader's memory, press the on off button and hit the memory key. But for this test, we just want to see what's all, what's going on. Uh, while the engine is warmed up before we start. So we're gonna go all the way to the appendix here, to the retrieving fault code section. 
and notice that the test conditions are key off, engine off, continuous, and then running. So the first one we got was 23, so off, running, and continuous, uh, cars only, throttle position sensor signal on the range, well this happens to be a truck, so it's engine off or engine running, trucks only, throttle position sensor signal out of range, it's the same one, and then, oh look, there's a third one, well, fuel injector pump, it's for diesel. This isn't a diesel, so that one's not applicable. And then we'll go to code 63. 63 is also off or continuous throttle position circuit fault below minimum voltage. And then there's another one for the fuel injection pump for the diesel, which that isn't applicable. So for in this instance, we have two throttle position sensor faults. So in this case, uh, the throttle position sensor is most likely bad. Um, I did try cleaning it out a little bit, but uh, it didn't really work. So I'm just gonna get another one and then set it up correctly and then retest. So just turn this to the off position and then you can just remove your cables. So again, the Aquas. Ford OBD1 3145 worth the 30 bucks uh, you don't have to count flashes and write them down it just pretty much tells you you saw on the video 23 and 63 booyaka shots good to go thanks